Twas the final night of gingermiss, and out on the trail, the finish line awaited with local craft ale. The RD was sleepless in the crisp autumn air, in hopes the lead pack soon would be there. The mid-packers were scattered all along the course, while the elites sped along as quick as a horse. And my pacer with his Koros and I with my Garmin were hours behind Coach Ian Sharman. Long ago, I had bonked and my face lost its smile, barely half done with that 100 miles. Food rations were low, just a handful of pretzels, and a light slowly faded from the bulb in my petzel. I felt so lightheaded, I had nothing left, and I was ready to drop my first DNF. We wandered forever and could not find the path. I'd never make the cutoff. I did all the math. I sat silently on a stump because all hope was lost. I just wanted to quit, never mind the cost. When in the woods behind me there arose a loud rustle, I sprang to my feet and prepared for a tussle. The moon on the breast of the fresh fallen leaves gave a luster of midday to the ground between the trees. When what to my much addled mind should appear but a red-headed runner with a case full of beer. He wore a GRL cap and his legs were so limber, I knew in a moment it must be the ginger. I'm hallucinating, I thought. I must need more rest. When in ran his posse of co-hosts and guests, swifter than gazelles, his friends, they all came. He clapped and he shouted and introduced them by name. It's Yassine, Walter Ring, and Casey Lichtai. Even Bowman, DeWalter, and Gerben say hi. Last but not least, in came my long legs, sipping local craft brew, not that crap from a keg. We found a new crew, my pacer said with a chuckle, and I knew right then I'd earn that silver belt buckle. Then out into the clearing, the ginger he ran, trotted right up beside me and stuck out his hand. What is up, everybody? The ginger runner here, but we're not airing this live, so nobody fear. On his feet, he wore ultras, he heel toe drop was zero, and wielded in one hand a black GoPro hero. A drop bag of supplies he had flung on his back and looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Take these, he told me, calories you can use, and offered a bag full of spring energy and goose. Here's your own GR wrap, the ginger said with a grin, and he took a long swig from his flask of tailwind. His friends shared with us their brew, some dark IPA, while the bulbs from their headlamps turned night into day. Now I've oft heard it said a ginger has no soul, but I knew at once that was folklore of old. Bright and multi-hued was the cap on his head, while the beard on his chin was like a flame blazing red. He wore a dark, long-sleeved shirt, sweat wicking, not flannel. Its breast bore the logo of his own YouTube channel. He gave us fresh double-A batteries from out of his pocket, then led us on course and told us, go rock it! His demeanor reminded me to not be a quitter, so I promised I'd follow him on Instagram and Twitter. He zipped up his pack and to his team gave a yelp. Then I thanked him profusely for all of his help. Ginger Claus started running off into the night, but I heard him exclaim ere he ran out of sight. Until next year, log those miles and run the farthest. Merry Ginger Miss to all. Train hard, race harder, party hardest. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ginger Miss Award Show 2022. Uh, I am your host, Ethan the Ginger. Thank you for taking time out of your busy Tuesdays to spend a little bit of it with us. We have a ton to give away tonight. Is that right? It's true. Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing well. Hi, everyone. Kim Tashima Newberry here, as always. Welcome to our Ginger Miss Award Show. If you don't know what Ginger Miss is... Go to gingermiss.com. Uh, right. Learn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been our annual tradition now in its ninth year. It's basically our run scavenger hunt, holiday themed run scavenger hunt, where we ask you to go out there and collect points by finding various items in your neighborhoods or in your towns, collecting as many points as possible, returning, submitting your results, and then we give away tons of stuff from some of our favorite brands. It costs you nothing. It is, uh, it's our free sort of fun event that we host every year. As I mentioned, now in its ninth year. Yes. And tonight we have tons to give away. But of course, before we start giving stuff away and we announce where the prizes are from, we have to give a bit of a shout out to our guest who just delighted you with entertainment. It is the wonderful 
Mr. Gary Claus. Hello, thank you for Gary, having me. You Good to mic? see you guys. I think I did. We mute. Did we mute your you mic? You need to press this button. I, so my mute, Gary. You do need to press Let something on your end. Gary, the audience yeah. can hear you. We cannot. Give me one second. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is our first time doing this. Uh, so I briefly show. can say whatever the heck I want about these two. Hey. Oh. No, nope, not anymore. anymore. Oh, not anymore. Oh, there they are. That was quick. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Good to have you. Yeah, I don't know why. Technology, all of a sudden, right? It's hard. Not I to think work. in the multiple years we've been doing this, uh, you have yet to figure out <laughs> how it all works. You do a pretty good job overall, though. Uh, you know, generally, I get like a C plus. I think the occasional uh, show, we're like, wow, man, knocking it out of the park. Yeah. A plus. But it's Ginger Miss and GRGR shows tend to be in that C, C plus. It's great to see you, Gary. You look great. You haven't aged. I mean, your beard has, but you haven't. Absolutely. We're pretty happy. We found a better spray for the beard. We didn't realize it till we were using it, but it only tastes half as toxic while it's happening. <laughs> and it goes on twice as fast. So I uh, I was on the cusp of never doing this again because of how horrible the experience was. And it was a thumbs up experience tonight with this new canister we have. So there you I go. Mean, if anybody needs any recommendations, you can uh, we'll, we'll we'll let you know in the comments. <laughs> you should do a you should do a review on your channel. Review, I'm surprised I haven't of, seen the of, video. <laughs> This is a good idea. I like the thought process. You know, pop it onto Instagram Reels, make a couple bucks in the process. Like, yeah, I, absolutely. I'm desperate to know how the hell you get it on there without getting it on your lips, in your mouth, oh, in your nose. Oh, Linda. My wife does this, and she's very good at it. And I, I drape a towel over my face, and then I go through bouts of holding my breath for 30 seconds at a time. And then I dive, like you know, 10 feet away and take a breath of fresh air and come back into the toxic zone. And oh it's God. a process. I only do this because I love you guys. This is this is it. This is the only time I do this. It's because I love you guys. I So you don't keep this up for like a couple of days? Linda likes it. it. She there? has said that she, yeah, she, she, uh, she does not mind me with the, the gray beard. She's looking forward to the eventuality of that as well. <laughs> Linda likes a good silver fox. <laughs> Apparently right. so. I'm naturally right. getting it down the middle, but I shave. It just always looks like spilled food. It so. just looks like yogurt. It yeah. looks like I've eaten <laughs> a bad batch of yogurt in the middle of my beard. It does look great, Gary, and we do appreciate the extra effort. <laughs> Uh, to all of our live viewers, welcome to the Ginger Miss Awards Show. So this is where we get to give away a ton of stuff. We do have Gary, our wonderful guest here, uh, sort of per tradition. He likes to read Twas the Night before Ginger Miss before the show, but also give away a bunch of stuff. Gary has brought to us a number of prizes in addition to what we're already giving away. Uh, let me make sure I have that pulled up here. And Gary, correct me if I'm wrong. You are going to be giving away tonight. I always will. A, a Squamish <laughs> 50 entry to any distance. Valued up Correct. to three hundred and seventy-five dollars Canadian. So far, so good. Conquer the Vetter multi-sport entry, solo or team of three. That's a stand-up paddleboard, uh, stand-up paddleboard, bike and run event. That last year was the first year. Correct. Yeah, first year this year passed. I didn't put in the value of that entry. That is a value of up to three hundred and seventy-five dollars for a team of three. It's pretty awesome. The video and and photos from that event look freaking fantastic. And finally, entry to any of the following CMTR races. Uh, uh, Run, Ridge, Ridge, Run. Yep, Run Ridge Run, 13K, 25K, which is sold fittest. out. Survival of the Fittest as well. And Buck and Hell, which I've run. Mm. I only put in the acronyms. I'm impressed. I realized I, I didn't throw you a bone on that one, so I was trying to help you out. But you knew the acronyms, which is, hey, I, you, you know your stuff. You're, you you're think I don't know man. your races? You think I don't look at your race roster and figure well, out which one I want to destroy me? You know, I would hope you know Buck and Hell. You did create a great video around that race. But um, but yeah, so we have an entry to any of those three races, and um, we we have sold out races in completely rec months earlier than we ever have before. Uh, our first race on February 25th, the earliest it ever sold out was three weeks in advance in early February, gone six days. Uh, our our race survival of the fittest on May 13th, uh, I think there's 50 spots left in that right now. So wow. that'll be gone in the next few days. Wow. Um, so yeah, if you're, uh, and it's probably the same for a lot of race um, organizations out there. So I think if you're looking at 2023 races, you might want to commit earlier than later, or you might miss out on some stuff. Yeah, we're seeing, we love it. Coming out of the pandemic, we're seeing races sell out again and people being able to attend them and stuff. So we really appreciate this um, prize package, Gary. Mm -hmm. These are high value items, also highly coveted. I know Squamish alone is one of those entries that especially come like June and July when people are like, oh, I really want to run Squamish. It's been sold out for six months. 
this is that time that you can actually <clears throat> get an yeah. And we have seen the GR, um, the Ginger Miss winners uh, uh, run the race over the last couple of years, which is always good. Yeah. Uh, it's always fun to see the prize winners show up and enjoy the experience. We have an amazing GR crew contingent that shows up to that race too. So we're very, very yeah. thankful for Gary for showing up and he's going to be giving those away tonight live to <laughs> anyone who is viewing. So how this is going to work tonight is we have, we're going to go through some of the prizes we're going to give away tonight. There is a lot of them and we can't wait to give back because the Ginger Miss theme and spirit is all about giving back to this amazing community who's given us so much for the year. That's why it's free. And that's why we give stuff away from our favorite brands. Uh, but we're going to be giving away some live items tonight. So just by watching, you have a chance to win some items, including Gary's race entries. Uh, in addition, we're going to be giving away uh, two books, the same book, two of them <laughs> chrissy mail's book uh which we're so excited it's called running your first ultra i believe the second edition the new edition i love chrissy's book we have I it right recommended there. it to so many people i think it's on over my shoulder in that pile back there myself actually yeah it's it's kind of the I thing have an that... autographed edition though i'm i'm hanging on to that one i'm gonna make a profit uh, on that we also have an autographed edition and i do believe that chrissy will be signing the two winners books as well yeah so we'll be giving two of those away we're going to be giving two of our brand new Elite Power Hiker t-shirts away. These are the fun new collaboration that we did with a Japanese artist called Haisei. Uh, she's fantastic. You're about to give away two of your nipples there. For two a of my even. nipples. <laughs> uh, the shirt comes off to. and it's... <laughs> we'll give two of those That's t-shirts That's a cool away. graphic. It's... Wait till you see the back, man. It's, it's awesome. I love mine. You love yours. Yeah. We wear them all the time. And finally, we're going to be giving away uh, live tonight a hamster entry. Uh, Gretchen Walla of Walla Trails uh, has a fantastic race every summer called the Hamster 6-Hour, 12-Hour, 24-Hour, and 32-Hour. You did the 32 hour. I did 32 hour this past year. I'll be back again in some capacity. It is an amazing event. We love Gretchen, of course. So we will be giving that away live. And somebody has already Gretchen's said they awesome. have, we'll be setting their alarm to get ready for registration. Maybe you won't need to do that. Maybe, Maybe you'll win a registration win. tonight. And uh, before we get into the giving of away, giving awayness, let's mention all the stuff that we're giving away tonight to people who participated in Ginger Miss and some of that stuff to, to live viewers and to random people who participated. Yeah. We have uh, a hundred, a couple hundred and fifty dollar gift certificates for Running Warehouse. We have two fifty dollar gift certificates from Running Warehouse. We have two twenty five dollar gift certificates from Running Warehouse. We have lucky poles that are uh, gifted to us by one of our amazing GR crew members. Uh, we have two rabbit apparel fleece of, of mind, which is their new fleeces. They're fantastic. They wear mine every day. Uh, we have that hamster entry. We have two Tailwind gift packs. So Tailwind's hooking it up this year. And those are massive gift packs. I think they're valued at over $100 a piece. We got the box. And very heavy. it took both of us to lift <laughs> it in and because we like to share. Uh, we also are giving away two pairs of the Nike Zagama trail shoes. We're giving two Nike Gore-Tex trail running jackets away. We're going to be giving away multiple tracksmith items, uh, two pairs of Hoka challengers. They're brand new challengers. I have a pair sitting on the floor next to me that I've been running in this last week. You have your pair as well. Two uh, Camelback hydration vests, two Goo Energy gift packages, and two Kotopaxi uh, waist belts from the brand Cotopaxi, which is also freaking They make some cool awesome. stuff. I like that. Yeah. Stuff. Super, super cool. Uh, plus one of our GR crew members, John, he's a, an amazing photographer. He'll be giving away one of his prints, and we have some additional uh, Patreon tiers and stuff like that that we'll be giving away tonight, and the Tiger Claw entry yes. as well. We're going to be giving away an entry to Tiger Claw. How should we start this off? Should we, like, I think we should do a live giveaway. What do you think? We can do that, yeah. Let's put Gary to work. Uh, uh, so, Gary. Here we go. Do you yep. want to remind people of the rules and how we choose the winner? Actually, yeah. I <laughs> no, wanna... I want to see the riot and fighting online first, every actually. Every year. So this happens every year. <laughs> um, so a couple rules. Yeah. So first and foremost, if you participated in Ginger Mist, your name and you submitted results, your name is already in the running for a number of these prizes. We did random generators. We also did uh, accolade version of the award. So like most miles, most points, yeah. stuff like that. Those winners have been chosen. We are going to announce these winners tonight. And then we're going to email you. If you are a winner, we will email you. <laughs> However, if you are a live viewer and you win one of the live trivia questions or you want to participate in the live trivia questions, uh, you write your answer in the live chat room 
Kim is uh, looking in her live chat room. I am looking in my live chat room. And the first correct answer to that trivia question will win that prize. So we have double verification to make sure uh, the first person to get the correct answer is the same to both of our uh, computers here. So if you see it a little bit different on your computer, it is by what we see on our computer. And so uh, to confirm, <laughs> the best thing to do is to email you guys after the show and ask if you won a prize, right? You can just give Gary a phone call. Here is his number. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, said like a true race director, Gary. Is there anything we can do to help make your we, life easier? <laughs> we love email. Hey, email is, is uh, email was fly. Can't get enough emails. So good luck. Hey, at 8 a.m. on December 10th, what time does the uh, race registration open on December 10th at 8 a.m.? I just want to make sure I set my alarm. <laughs> uh, 8 a.m. December 10th. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so we... We will email you if you are a participant, but if you are en entering the... <laughs> if you, if you, should they email you just to be sure, though? Because, I mean, <laughs> it's easy to miss. So if you're a I live winner... We have 10 minutes left in the show and we still haven't given anything away and we, like, really Same have every to year. burn through everything? Every year. We're going to race through this you're stuff, welcome. I promise you, everybody. If you win a live prize, please email <laughs> us. What's the email address, Ethan? The ginger at gingerrunner.com. This Again. is only for live winners only for live winners <laughs> okay i think everyone gets it the ginger at gingerrunner.com let's give away a live award uh gary so if uh do you have your right. review questions pulled it. up i'm good let's do All it right. am i reading the first one yeah read the first one who placed first female in this year's hamster 32 hour race fantastic the question is, is who placed legendary washington long distance runner Fantastic runner. Who placed first female in this year's Did you hamster? Say fantastic hour? runner? That's what I heard. Pretty close. <laughs> okay. Who who placed first female in this year's hamster 32 hour race? What are we giving away, Ethan? We are going to be giving away. Oh man, I keep having to switch between tabs here. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Do you want to say what we're giving away? No? Chris's no. book running your first ultra. Uh it was not me. I placed third i see a uh, correct answer do you i do now yes do you see the same one yes colin chapel congratulations colin chapel the correct answer is von fawn von fawn is a fantastic local ultra runner she placed first female at the hamster 32 hour colin you win a brand new book from chrissy mail running your first ultra the new edition colin email the ginger at gingerrunner.com we'll get you that prize let's do a uh, let's do another trivia question gary do you want to do one of yours yeah. Uh, I'll roll the second one off of yours here. Yeah, yeah. do it. Okay. Ethan is working on a film about the Wonderland Trail around Mount Rainier. Who <laughs> is the athlete that is being featured? Is that? <laughs> Reread the question because that was incorrect. Oh, I just saw working on a film and then I just I just automatically um, <laughs> assumed it was going to be about me. But apparently you like to make films with other people now and uh, I'll try not to take that personally. <laughs> Ethan is working on a film about the North Cascades High Route. Who are the two athletes featured in the movie? The North Cascades High Route featuring two athletes, incredibly talented and nice people. Who are the two people that will be featured in that movie? And hint, hint, the, it hint, won't be me. It's not Gary. There are two names we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, and the prize for this one, we're going to be giving away Chrissy's book, Running Your First Ultra, New Edition. We're going so to be we giving need away another one. Both, of both, both names, names in the same answer. <laughs> yeah, both names in the same answer. So we know that that right person, I mean, I have it here. Do you, we can do that. Oh, 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 oh no, there we go. That, there we That's go. That's the one right yep. there. Uh, so Brindizio. Brindizio is the correct answer with Caitlin Gerben and Jen Abag. Uh, they are two fantastic athletes. Congratulations, Brindizio. Uh, email the ginger at gingerrunner.com. Let me know, hey, I won Chrissy's book. Same with you, Colin, and we'll get that to you ASAP. All right, now we get to give away some fun stuff. Should we just start yeah. ripping yeah, through some of these awards? Yeah, that stuff was horrible. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> we just have so much. Finally, the fun things. Let's talk about... Should we do this one? I don't know where you're clicking. Right there. Highlighted yeah, it for sure. you. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Sure. So every year, we uh, have some participants who like to do the least. And it's part of the joy of Ginger Miss. Yeah, and this this uh, was born out of 
a participant doing, doing the, the least, least <laughs> the minimal effort. And so we decided to start rewarding minimal effort put in. Basically, this award tonight is going to go to the person who had the least amount of points and the least mileage. So those two numbers come together to show that they put in the least effort or the minimal effort. And to be honest, we're, not throwing, we're not throwing shade. Absolutely not. Maybe you don't feel well or maybe you have an injury. We just want to celebrate you. So our minimal effort award this year will be a Tracksmith uh, gift pack. Gift pack. Get an item from Tracksmith running. And this year's minimal effort recipient is Allison Smith. Congratulations, Congratulations Allison. Allison. And Allison in the chat right now says, I only got seven points. Uh, was it me? It was you. <laughs> <laughs> it was Someone you, Allison. Someone else also did get seven points, but they uh, used but more mileage than you. We, exactly. Uh, should we give away a So there's a race for the bottom, hey? There is. It always is. Greater than zero, obviously. Yep. You have to get at least two items. Yeah, you have to get at least two scavenger items. Speaking is that the of, minimum points you can attain? Seven? No, it'd no. be two, I think, because there's two one point items and then yeah. you don't even you, have you're to have go. have like 40 people with two points next year. You're, yep, we're going to have that. But Gary, your house, you have put up tutorials now of how to like decorate your house. <laughs> how many do you have? How many yard decorations do you think you have What's by this point? Uh, oh, I thought you meant a measurement as in, uh, as not, in a meat not, tray. not a meat tray, a yard. <laughs> How many? So uh, um, I only have four inflatables. I'm not, I, I, I think inflatables are, are, are neat, but I, I don't want to be just all inflatables. I think it's too yeah. easy. And lacks they also look really of, sad just, when they're not blown up. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah. <laughs> like dead animals on your yes. front lawn. <laughs> uh, I am, I am a traditionalist in terms of, I like the C9, the bigger bulbs like we had as kids when we were growing up um and uh have invested in in getting as many of those colorful lights out there as possible so interestingly you can buy the old c9 setups with the old energy destroying lights and you can replace them with new led bulbs and then you can have this really nice uh strand of lights that will last forever because they're already 20 or 30 years old so i buy these from garage sales for dollars yep. and then i get rid of the old bulbs and then i order the new bulbs and pop them in there and uh, i was able to add 400 feet of lights to my setup this year by doing that there's got to be an award like a local award or something where you live that celebrates houses that go above and beyond your house is getting to that point where it's incredible and people will probably drive out of their way to go see it it's fun because I walked out the front door uh, a few days back at night and there was a car parked in front taking pictures and they had their window down and I we startled each other and they they were like, oh, no, we're, we're just taking pictures what of the house. And I thought, yeah. So, and it, actually last night I had two friends who are driving to Smithers, which is Northern BC. So they've got a long drive ahead of them. Sure. And his wife is Norwegian and in Norway, they only do white lights apparently. So she, they, they detoured off the highway, took a 20 minute detour out and back to come up to the house to say hi, to actually see the Christmas lights and get pictures that she can show her family back in Norway. So it makes it worthwhile. It's kind of fun to know that people enjoy the lights and then that. i set an annual budget and then i invest that budget annually so i'll grow it out over years and uh yeah i already know what i'm going to do for next year i feel like we're just getting started and yeah and ingen nails it ingen also Nor norwegian ingen nails it and nice. says, daytime inflatables are like daytime vegas Shutter. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's give some prizes of the way should we do a couple creativity awards we can or yeah. you tell me where you no, want to you, jump to you take you take the ring there's so much in the spreadsheet that that is yeah, like what's gotta, happening we have to start getting getting down to business we got to get down to business yeah. here all right so we do every year give creativity awards so these are just rewarding people who kind of go above and beyond in the whole spirit of ginger miss uh you get lots of people involved or do something creative whether that's you know making a cool movie or a reel or getting creative and making something artistic uh so every year we like to reward people who get creative yeah so let's start with uh, the Lecky Poles. We're going to be giving away a pair of Lecky Poles brought to us by one of our amazing GR crew members. Uh, and do you want to talk about this one? Who wins? Yeah, so for the Lecky Poles, our winner is Jared McKee. And Jared did a really fun video submission. So Jared is not the winner of the filmmaker, but we enjoyed Jared's video so much so 
and appreciate the work that went in because it's hard to do a it's quick turn a quick turnaround on the video and jared's editing was really great he did yeah. a great eggnog chug uh, uh the other thing that i really loved about jared's is so one of the new um scavenger hunt items this year was to sing a christmas carol with at least four others and jared had rounded up i believe there was seven or eight other people that he had rounded up and they all looked like they were Working construction like they workers. had like the safety vests and the That's so good complete on. strangers and total strangers it was fantastic i loved it that was one of my favorite um moments in jared's video there's like three that joined and then and it then turned more into four five coming. and then he somehow <laughs> got the whole site to come just show up and start singing they were all yeah, into it so good. well done that jared super fun so jared you get the lucky pulse we'll contact you after the show congratulations another creativity award yes this one's kind of a tradition and i'm pretty excited about it uh I don't have the, I can get the video actually. Do you want me to pull up the video? You can. I might need you to uh, buy me a second. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> Time to dance. We're on the same page here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this person submits a video every year or has submitted a video every year. It's one of our favorite videos that we look forward to. I also believe this first, this person has started to inspire other people to delve into the adult beverages uh a little a little maybe heavy handed sure heavier handed yeah we can say uh, that during the ginger miss uh festivities i do have the video pulled up i hope it works we'll see we'll see I'll save the rest for you to go view <laughs> on YouTube. But Heather Reed, congratulations on being our continued, like just inspiration for Ginger Miss. You inspire so many people to have that extra level of fun. She gets creative every year. This yeah. year she taught herself video effects. If you yes. notice at the beginning, the tearing Very of the paper. Cool. It's really well done. Heather, Heather Reed. stepping up her game. And she's a teacher. She does so much for yeah. her community. Heather, we appreciate you very much. Congratulations. You win a rabbit fleece. We can be twins. Twinsies. Uh, those fleeces are freaking awesome. Yeah. I have one. Uh, should we do a live trivia question? Yeah. Let's do a live trivia question. Gary, I'll let you take it away. Live Bobby trivia. Uh, so are we going to go to my questions yeah, now, let's I guess? Do, let's do one of yours because we have three left yeah, of let's ours. Do one of yours and, and then we can... Yeah. Three of yours. So let's do one of yours right now. Okay, so this will be for the Squamish 50 race entry. Any distance valued at up to 374. Go on right, right, right into it, right at the top. I valued up to 375 Canadian dollars. And the question is, tell me right now exactly how many people are signed up to run the race. It's all there. You just got to click a couple of things. Click that, click that, and click that, and scroll down just a tiny bit, and there's a number right there. And the first person that can give us that number gets the entry to the race. Give us the, uh, read that question one more time. The question, tell me the exact number of currently already registered runners for the Squamish 50 race. If you go on the Squamish 50 site, and then you click through to the registration, and then when you scroll down, you'll get the number that you are looking for to win that entry. And all, we are looking for the all-encompassing All distances, number. right? Yeah, it is a total participants, not... <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Dang. It, this, I mean, it's, this number it's, is... It's obvious to me, I think, because I'm on these sites all the time. It's right. there. I, I just found um, it, so I already okay. found it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, it is... It is a massive number, and I'm so impressed, Gary, because I remember when I first ran Squamish, I think you were a couple years into having taken it over, and it's... I mean, it's grown exponentially since then, right? So we inherited a race that didn't happen the year prior, and that race was called Stormy, and Stormy was my Stormy. first ultra and my first 100-mile race. And then we redesigned the course, rebranded, and then launched with Squamish 50. And 
Kim has the answer. And yes, yeah, so we basically, that very first year of Squamish 50 in 2012, we sold out with 350 runners. And that was the most runners that had ever signed up for a running race in Squamish ever. Wow. And every year we incrementally increase that because you want to make sure you have all of your logistics from a management point in line. You know, you can't grow too much and not be able to manage the race experience for people. Yeah. So we've gotten into a, a, a space right now, which I never dreamt possible. And uh, the correct answer, uh, it looks like Kim has, we have is it. there yeah. are... 1,634 people signed up for the Squamish 50 races right now. There are still a handful of 50 mile entries left and a handful of 50, 50 entries left. The 23K and the 50K sold out very quickly. So a couple of entries left in the longer distances. That's amazing. And our winner for that is Shaggy Runner. We love Shaggy Runner. He's a regular uh, for Gingermas and submitted a video this year. It's fantastic. Congratulations, Shaggy Runner. You won yourself an entry into the Squamish 50. Any distance. Okay. Any distance. So the rules are you can gift that to somebody. You cannot sell it at all. And it can only be um, claimed a single time. So whoever claims it needs to eventually use it for the race. But Sweet. if you don't want to run it yourself, please gift it to somebody that does. And we'd love to see either Shaggy or someone uh, on the start line in August. Wonderful. Uh, should we do a couple random winners? Yes. Yeah. So we have a couple random winners. So these, anyone who submitted. So what ends up happening is we had a record number of signups this year for Ginger Miss. We broke last year's record, which I didn't expect, especially with this year. We kind of kept it a little more under wraps before un unveiling uh, the big festivities. We had more people sign up this year than ever before. What ends up happening is a lot of people mm. uh, register, but not a lot of people submit their well, a lot of people did. A, yeah. <laughs> a, a huge number register and a less huge number submit their actual results. So what we like to do is reward randomly people who have just submitted uh, entries after the weekend. Part of why we do this is because we don't want people to feel like we don't want you to feel like you have to be able to run like a large amount of miles mm -hmm. and have to live in an area where you can get all of the points. So uh, we assign numbers based on when you submit your uh, entry. So numbers are automatically assigned and we just do the number random generator thing for this. So correct. Let's just burn through some of these. Yeah, we've got five. So let's just let's let's give all five away uh, for the you want to start at the top or the bottom? Yeah, go ahead. Start at the top. Top. This is for a $50 gift card to Running Warehouse. Jan Christian Markowitz, a.k.a. JK. JK, congratulations. You get yourself a $50 gift card to Running Warehouse. You can spend it on whatever you want. You can spend it on Ingen if you want. <laughs> That's his wife. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, our second... Winner for another $50 gift card for Running Warehouse is Ryan Randolph. Congratulations, Ryan Randolph. You can spend that on whatever you want. You can spend it on Ingen. You don't I have guess. to spend it on Ingen. You don't you have can. to. You <laughs> can. Uh, this next one is for a Tailwind gift pack. Again, this is a big gift pack of Tailwind Nutrition. We're so thankful that they I hooked us up. I believe there's a hat in there. And a hat there's some as other well. goodies in there as well. And our winner for the Tailwind gift pack is Amanda Houston. Congratulations, Amanda. And then our last two random winners are going to be walking away with a Camelback Zephyr vest. This is one of their new hydration vests. It's super lightweight, very easy to use and brace with. It's 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 really, really nice. Uh, so these two winners are... Brian Beckman. Congratulations, Brian. And... Jessica <laughs> Capice. Capiche? Capeche? Ooh, Jessica oh. Capice. Congratulations, Jessica. Last we, name is C-A-P-E-C-E. -E. Yes, and we'll get in touch with uh, yes. all of the random winners as well. So congratulations, all of y'all. Uh, I say another live question. Gary, I'll let you uh, figure out which question you want to ask. You we do, will follow along. Yeah, you can do one of our questions. Yeah, do one of ours. And this will be for Ethan. What is it for? Oh, oh one of our um, Ooh, Elite shirts. Power Hiker shirts. Yes. Let's give away some shirts. So we're going to give two of these away. Gary, I'll let you choose uh, two of our questions. The actual we'll shirt that Ethan is wearing right now is what you win. <laughs> and maybe I'll throw and, a couple. <clears throat> both of them. The what 1983 Christmas movie had a sequel released this year? What, what? 1983, 1983 Christmas, movie Christmas movie had a sequel? Had a sequel. <laughs> Release. Released. Released. This year. This year. Here. This one should be pretty easy. Pretty easy. 
We watched the original with our son uh, last week, and I had to explain to him that it was dark humor because he is seven years old. But he he reacted, I think, to us reacting, and I had to tell him that the people weren't actually being as mean to each other as they seemed. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it was good. I, yeah, I feel like that might be the the, the earliest you, uh, a child can watch that and kind of grasp it a little bit. Uh, which one do you have? <clears throat> I have this one. That's for, what I have as on well. Technicality. Technicality. <laughs> Determine Whoa. the winner of this one because it's it is. The correct title is A Christmas Story. Correct. Was the 1983 movie. And that first winner, or the first person to get all A Christmas Story was Meg Chapel. Congratulations, Meg. You Should get the a, other person. You get that shirt. This, you get this that shirt. shirt right there. And Yay. two nipples. Should the person that lost on the technicality email you guys? <laughs> I think they should just write you a letter. <laughs> uh, here is Gary's home address. Please go take a bulb out of every string of lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible to say this, but I we had a stretch as teenagers where that was the the each night that was we would the see thing. how many bulbs we could. Yeah, yeah. And now as an adult, I'm oh. like, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, You're sitting in your rocking chair on the front porch, just. I, I, get yeah, off I should not go any further with that that story of uh, <clears throat> misplaced energy and youth. <laughs> Uh, Meg, drop drop us an email at the ginger the ginger at gingerrunner.com. We'll get you that prize. Meg in the chat says, "Woohoo, Ethan scented." <laughs> Can't promise it's a good scent. It's Ethan under the Christmas onesie that comes out once a year scented. Kim no. asked yeah. two days ago, no "Do you want me to wash your onesie <laughs> from last year?" I was like, "That would be good." I didn't want to sit next to it. it that would be good. Uh, that is very you want to do one more? Yeah, or, let's do one more of our, the live. One more live question, Gary. This will be for the second. Uh, elite power hiker shirt. Yeah, uh, from our list. Okay, who is the current men's record holder for the Squamish 5050? The combined races: 50 miles on Saturday, 50k on Sunday. On the results page on Squamish, you will find the answer you are looking for. This one's a fun Squamish. one. I was uh, there to witness that finish. I think with that was the year that you and I, I think we surprised. 2017, Gary, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we did. Yes, you did. I, well, you bring it up. I was actually going to say, you know, borders are open. Travel is is normal. And uh, are we going to see you guys showing up in Squamish in August? Do you have any conflicts currently to prevent that from happening? Look at Kim thinking real hard. Ah, I'm geez. trying to think of a conflict. Um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Conflict. I'm trying to think of something that I can do instead. <laughs> oh. of going I have it right here. Do you have the correct? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Congratulations, Crispin Flower Day. Crispin, you get yourself a brand new Elite Power Hiker shirt for the correct answer, which is Mike Wardian. Mr. Michael Wardian. What a, what a, I mean, he made your course look easy, even though I know at the end he's like, that was not easy. But he made it, he did. You know, I gotta tell, I, I gotta tell this story because I've been doing this race for 10 years. We had our 10th anniversary and we have runners from around the world that show up for the race and we've got top notch runners that show up. Mike Wardian, not only did he do that, set the record for the back to back. Uh, what impressed me most is when he arrived in Squamish, he messaged me personally and asked if he could help me with anything or if wow. I needed help with flagging the course or if there was anything he could do for me. And I, no one else in the years of doing this has ever been as genuinely uh, kind as Mike Wardian. And I've been a mega fan ever since then because he's just a super quality human being. Yeah, without a doubt. Anytime I've met him, he's been so kind and giving and uh, he does so much for his local community and and then he goes and runs and you're like, how does he do all of that? You know, great dad, great community member. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, totally. All right, let's give away creativity, the final creativity award, and then we'll go on maybe to to Gus and Eggnog. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, so our last creativity award, the award for this one is another one of the rabbit fleece of mind fleeces. And our winner is Tobias Kaufman. Uh, Tobias did a video as well. And I, we both really, really liked enjoyed it. it. Yeah. Um, it's from Austria. Was, he ran yeah. around. He ran through a zoo because he was in search of a so polar bear. Him and a friend were doing their ginger mist run hunt and they're trying to look for items and they realized like they're never going to find a polar bear. So they actually went into what they called like an animal park, which looked like a wildlife park. Couldn't find a polar bear in there either. So they ended up crafting their own polar bear out of snow. It's brilliant. Uh, the video is on YouTube. You can go check it out just by searching for ginger mist 2022. But congratulations, Tobias. You get yourself a brand new rabbit fleece of mind uh it's an awesome jacket you're gonna love it and uh, we will reach out to you and get mm. you that prize congratulations thank you for making the polar bear out of snow 
I like the Gus Award. Should we do the Gus Award? I like this one a lot. Okay. So, yeah. The Gus Award is the award that we do every year um, to honor our wonderful pup who's sitting at our feet now patiently and lovingly. But Gus is sort of a member of the community as well. And one thing that we really love is people who bring this community together and continue to share the love, come back year after year and sort of live that spirit of ginger miss, get really excited about it. And and it's just, I don't know, it's a fun award that we like to give away to kind of honor guests. It's kind of like the heart award. The heart, the heart of ginger <laughs> miss, right? Uh, I'll let you explain the winner and I'm going to see if I can actually pull up their um, wonderful little video. Yeah, so if you have been somebody who has been around for a few ginger misses you have probably heard us talk about this family before um they have been taking part in ginger miss at least since 2019 yeah a long time yeah and over the years we have been able to kind of witness their family grow amongst our eyes during yep. throughout their ginger miss videos so for a couple of years it was actually 100 years ago i don't know if you're aware it was of that 100 right years ago <laughs> for a that's couple a, of a years fact. it was just the couple and they were doing their ginger miss and it was really fun and then um two years ago they the couple actually announced to the friend that they were running with that they were pregnant so they kind of did their pregnancy announcement to their close friend last year they revealed the new baby and the baby was there during the ginger miss run hunt and then this year again we get to see the baby who's now a adorable toddler running around now running ginger miss actually like out there doing it so here's a quick uh, oh, little yeah. sneak preview of their video that they put together for the gus award waited all year for this it's finally here Into the tunnel of lights we go! <laughs> we want to show the whole video. It is available to watch on YouTube. It's adorable. The Quinonez family has grown over the course of Ginger Miss year after year after year, and it is awesome to see them go from a couple to uh, parents to now watching their child run and, and participate in ginger mess. It's and a beautiful little, thing. And their little baby in the video had their first taste of eggnog <coughs> and it was really cute. <laughs> it was super adorable. <laughs> really, really cute. Uh, um, so, congratulations. Uh, they will be winning a $150 gift card to Running Warehouse as well as a Goo gift pack. And the $150 gift cards to Running Warehouse were courtesy of GR crew member Jennifer as well. We'd like to shout her out. Just yes. thank you so much for these uh, incredible <laughs> contributions. We have some amazing crew members who've sort of lifted some prizes up this year as well. Uh, Jennifer's one of those. Thank you so much, Jennifer. So that's a $150 gift card to Running Warehouse and a goo pack. Congratulations to the Quinones family uh, for and again thanks for, bringing yeah, it. Thanks for doing another video for us. We look, for, we look forward to it every year. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen this year considering I was like, oh, they're going to be so busy. Uh, but I love it. If you go to their YouTube channel, they have all of their Ginger Miss videos on there. It's, it's very cute to watch. <laughs> Speaking of eggnog, Gary, have you ever chugged a pint of eggnog? I've done an eggnog miler, so beer mile with eggnog. Ew. Uh, we had we had Ew. that in our, our winter scavenger hunt during the pandemic there. And uh, I I did it. I was seven minutes flat for my one mile chugging four pints of eggnog. Four pints? Four pints, so not like four well, glasses. Yeah, four. Well, four beer glasses. I guess what's that? Three hundred fifty uh, milliliters. So it was. It was a liter and a half. Mm. One for one point four. It was horrendous. So we yeah. challenged everyone to, uh, as a bonus item on Instagram, to chug a pint of eggnog. This has one. been the tradition. This has been the tradition. We love doing it. Uh, maybe next year we need to do four pints. Uh, but I put together a quick little video to sort of showcase some of the videos that we got. Enjoy. Merry Ginger Miss 2022. Tonight I want to share with you the story of Fireball, one of the other reindeer playing reindeer games with Rudolph. Everyone knows Rudolph. What happened to Fireball? He went on to own a distillery and he is very famous in his own right for his Fireball whiskey.
so cold. It is cold. Ah. It's almost too cold. Oh boy. Oh, it's a boy. lot of eggnog. <clears throat> I do make you do gather the eggnog videos every year. Yeah, you can't when I'm watching them and if it's in the same room as you, you have to go away. You have to leave. <laughs> uh, well, what's interesting is while you're doing the videos, you guys get to watch them and I just get to watch you. So I'm staring <laughs> at a screen living it through your eyes it's like you're my children and i'm, I'm experiencing the world through your eyes that... and uh, i got i got the full journey i i have a really <laughs> good understanding of the the uh the ebb and flow of that video the whole way through so yeah i i realized that gary is just so patient us. he's just watching us watch the video because we, we're showing it to all of you uh, but we do have a winner we have a category uh we like to recognize someone who either drinks the fastest or drinks the mostest or or, or does something both. extra or does something a little bit extra or pukes the furthest <laughs> just goes above and beyond <laughs> so we do have a winner for the eggnog award and i'm going to show you uh the video because it's it's a delight okay that's another ginger miss in the books so you know what time it is time to put some eggnog in here okay we're doing a lot of jogging and noggin today you're looking at the 10 mile luggin Double eggnog chugging champion from Braidside. It's time to slug some sexy soup. Now, if you know a thing or two about winning, you know you got to beat the champ to beat the champ. And I'm not ready to give up this belt just yet. Okay? So if you want it, you got to earn it. Merry Gingermas 2022. Joe Hoover. So the winner for our eggnog award is the one and only Joe Hoover. Joe, you win a Tracksmith package, Tailwind gift pack, and a $25 gift card to Running Warehouse. Joe, I think you won this for a couple different reasons. I appreciated the callback to my sexy soup comment on Daily Brew. Um, we enjoyed the custom uh, uh, eggnog champion belt, champion belt, like giant wrestling belt, <laughs> the double chug, uh, chugging two in a row and making it look easy. Also, Joe did a fantastic job of posting to his Instagram all weekend. Some super fun stories. Thank you, Joe. Congratulations. Tracksmith gift pack, Tailwind gift pack, $25 gift certificate to running my house. We appreciate you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we still have uh, a number of live giveaways to do, and then we're going to, we also have some point value yeah. stuff to give away too. <clears throat> Gary, how do you want to do this? Do you want to do live now, or you want to save a couple of these live questions for the very end? And Kim and I will just crank through the like most points and miles and stuff. Let's do it now, Ethan. Let's grab it. Just grab it. it and do it. Let's, Let's do, do it, now. it. So okay. we have, I think I'll... three questions left. Yeah, we have two from Gary uh, and one, one from for us. you and yeah. two for me. So I'm going, yeah, uh, why don't I hop right into it? So I'm going to give away the Conquer, the Vetter race entry right now. So it's a solo on the Saturday or a relay on the Sunday, a value of up to 375 if you do the relay. It's stand-up paddleboarding only. 
uh, six kilometers on the lake, and then it is gravel biking or mountain biking, whatever your preferred off-road bike choice would be, and then trail running as well. And it happens this year on May 27th and 28th in Chilliwack. Um, this is going to take a little bit. Uh, so trailseries.ca, no, trailrunning.ca, old, new. Trailrunning.ca is going to be your starting point, trailrunning.ca. And the question is, tell me which team won the relay race and in what time. And uh, it's so trailrunning.ca is your starting point to find the winning relay team in what time for the Conquer the Better 2022 race. And this, uh, yeah, this so. race looks incredible because I mean, it's it's like multi sport, but kind of more adventurous outdoor mountain sport type of multi sport, which is great. Stand up, it's nice because it's all off road stuff and yeah. uh, there's no navigation needed, so it's adventure race esque, but not needing to, to navigate on maps. Uh, myself and my my race directing partner Jeff Langford both started in the adventure racing world, and we always wanted to do a multi sport race, and this was the finally the time and the place to do it. Uh, yeah. So we actually have a private campground called Smith Falls, a uh, private group campground for the start finish area on Cultus Lake in Chilliwack, um, and it's just uh, yeah a really beautiful location. And this year at the end of May uh, will also be a really good time of year. Awesome. So we're looking for the team name and the the finishing time. And I believe I have a winner on my end. Do you see that? This is what yep. I have. The congratulations then goes to Brian Fagundis with Better is Better. That's the name of the team. Better is Better. And three hours, 23 minutes, 18 seconds is the recorded time. Congratulations, Brian Fagundis. You get so an entry. That was Go ahead. Yeah, that, that, sorry to cut you off. And uh, yeah, again, if you can't uh, do the race yourself, then please do gift it to somebody else. That team consisted of the Canadian National Women's Stand-Up Paddleboarding Champion and previous oh, world champion, the three-time uh, Canadian Cyclocross Champion, um, and um, and myself. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, pick some ringers, put, put them in there, and uh, yeah, and then I just had to cruise it into the finish line to take the win. <laughs> it sounds like you made the right phone calls to the right people to make that happen. The funny thing is, they're both really good friends, so I did choose ringers, but I ride with the guy a couple times a month, and I used to race with the girl in adventure racing years ago. So it was uh, it was fun to, to be able to race the race. That's awesome. So we have two more live questions we're going to do at the end uh we are going to rip through these last few prizes and winners from this last weekend's gingermas i say let's dive in with maybe most vert you want to do that one mm, yep and then i think we need to start from the top and go down oh yeah i understand so you, most yeah you understand? <laughs> i understand because there were we like to do the trickle down in the sense that yes. not everyone gets all one not one person gets all the prizes yep. if they have multiple wins we <clears> like <throat> to share as much of the ginger miss love as possible so awards sort of trickle down if you've won multiple categories and your name's not called that's why uh but we're going to start with most vert so this is the most vert that was accumulated over the course of their single ginger miss activity and i'm excited this one gets to go to japan we have i mean we're not sending someone to japan no we're not sending someone to japan oh, the you prize... just said you were sending yeah. them to japan we're sending the nike zagama trail shoes to japan which is pretty cool ah uh, okay janives congratulations janives uh, with what is it seven thousand six hundred and ninety three feet of vert done during gingermas is a lot nice yeah uh janive did end up hitting the trails uh i think there was a difficulty finding some christmas decor uh, but they did get the the required amount of Christmas items as well, and took a uh, bunch of random carolers, Godzilla, around as well. So congratulations, you are winning a pair of the Nike Zagamas, and let's just get into it with the most points. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, do you want to talk about this? Most points accumulated is essentially the person who ran the most miles plus all the points that they got on the scavenger hunt. Uh, this person ended up winning multiple categories, but because of the trickle down prizes, uh, they will win for most points. What is the what is the prize for most points? Most ginger miss points accumulated will win a brand new Nike Gore-Tex running jacket, a $150 gift card to Running Warehouse, courtesy of GR crew member Jennifer. We appreciate you very much. As well as a Tiger Claw entry. The mm. first actual entry to Tiger Claw. Any of our distances this year, because we are also offering three different distances an ascent a 20 no changed it an ascent a 50k this. and a 50 miler <laughs> can you tell that i've been it's doing online. you can look it up ethan 
can find it on Gary's uh, go old, to trailrunning.ca. Yeah. <laughs> uh, trailrunning.ca, and then look for Tiger Claw. Uh, so Gore-Tex jacket, one hundred fifty dollars gift card plus Tiger Claw. The winner with the most points. This year's winner is Aaron Zaki. So congratulations, Aaron! You got the most points, and of course. I didn't put it. I think it was 100, 101, 101 points and ran 26 miles or so ran a marathon uh, and accumulated all of the points pretty much needed off of the uh, the checklist and stuff. So congratulations, Aaron. You win all of that and more. We appreciate you very much. You did so damn good. <laughs> uh, most points runner up ran 24 miles. So just a couple miles yeah. shy of the winner, but also accumulated a number of points as well. The runner up most points is going to win a Nike Gore-Tex running jacket, a goo pack and a $25 gift card to running warehouse. Kim, who is our runner up most points? That's a great question. I can do the name. You are you looking <laughs> up the number. Oh, no, go ahead. Gregory Horlocker. Congratulations, Gregory Horlocker. You had the runner up for most points. I believe it was in the 70s. It was I don't, high 70s. It, yeah. it was almost like 80 Sorry, points. Sorry, guys. My spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is insane. Causing problems. It's insane. Uh, so congratulations, Gregory. We appreciate your participation as well. Now we like to also award some prizes for most miles. People who just got out there and just went and went and went and didn't stop. Yeah. And as we mentioned, the trickle down situation. So this person had, I think, the third place most miles and actually it was a tie was a tie so we have two winners for the most miles and they're winning the hoka challengers cotopaxi kapai hip pack yep combo yeah so they'll each win a pair of the hoka challengers and they'll each win a cotopaxi kapai hip belt because they were literally off by 0. 0.009 miles no or something like that it was just too close so we gave them we're giving them both prizes Jessica Smith, congratulations, Jessica Smith, and Stefan TT Bigfoot Longer, congratulations, Stefan and Jessica. You both are our most miles winners with the tie. Do you want to do the two live ones, and then we'll get to our very last award? Sure. Let's go, Gary. Live questions, uh -huh. given away. You can go either one. We'll jump in there. I do want to talk what? about, if you're going to do ours first, I just want to say what it is yes. for. Do it. Shoot. Yeah, so this will be for the hamster entry. So if you would like to run hamster, Gretchen, who I believe is in the chat, is offering up an entry to any of the distances for hamster. Up to 32 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Six, 12, 24, and 32. Super fun run. What is the name of the pizza company that delivers to Kevin and his family in home alone? What is the name of the pizza company that delivers to Kevin and his family in Home Alone? I like this question a lot. Uh, there is, is it a question. Do you like pizza? I do like pizza a lot. Uh, question in the chat though: and how many miles? The hamster race is a duration, so it's a six-hour, a twelve-hour, a twenty-four-hour, or a thirty-two-hour event. You run as many miles as you can. Yeah. Around this beautiful lake, Lake Padden, up in Bellingham, <clears throat> Washington. It's a lot of fun. You placed third female this year in the thirty-two-hour. I did. You still yeah. have your awards right there. Nice. Show that off. It's my major award. It's your major award. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the winner right here. That's the one. That's the one I have. Uh, Matt Giffro, Jeffro. Congratulations, Matt. Little Nero's Pizza is the correct answer. Little Nero's Pizza. And he's got the, uh, the parenthesis. Or There's a lot of just like generic mark. Pizza Hut, Domino's. We know <laughs> Congratulations. Take a stab, Matt. right? Just throw it out there. Hope for the best. Agliacci's, uh, Neon's, Godfather Pizza. No. Agliacci's actually sounds really good. It does right sound now. really good. Congratulations, Should Matt. Should they email you the name of pizza joints after the show? Yeah, Matt, if you could email the ginger at gingerunner.com with your top 10 pizza recommendations, that would be great. And I'll we might you. get you a prize. No, we'll get you a prize. Uh, and Gary is giving away. This is kind of a big prize. This is the last trivia question. Gary, do you want to set this one up? So this is an entry into any of the following Coast Mountain Trail running races. That being Run Ridge Run, which is sold out 13 or 25K. Survival, uh, and that's in Port Moody, BC. Survival of the Fittest, 18, 35K in Squamish, almost sold out. And Buck and Hell. 35k 50k 50k two person relay 25k a piece in north vancouver trailrunning.ca for more information ethan can tell you all about buck and hell he made a fantastic film about it a few years ago which we really appreciate how much has coast mountain you'll find this on trailrunning.ca how much has coast mountain <laughs> trail running donated back into the community to date 
How much have we donated back into the community to date? This is a number, Gary, that has inspired us every year that you continue to add to this number and you mention it publicly. When we became race directors, it was we had to do giving back to the community is such an important part of um, part of Tiger Claw and what we want to do with Tiger Claw and stuff like that. You are setting the standard for all races and race directors, and we really appreciate that. It's not just, hey, we're hosting an event. It's we're hosting an event and we're giving back to the community that helps us put this on. And it is incredible how much you've donated. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we we made the decision in year two, nine years ago, second year, that, uh, yeah, if we were going to operate in these communities, we needed to support those communities and really foster positive relationships. And uh, we've accomplished that over the years. And it's it's really, it, it's, it's incredible to me to see how far we've grown and how significant our program has become. Um, so we, we donate over $60,000 a year back into the communities we operate in now. And the total, it looks like you may have the answer there, we do. There is a lot of over sixty thousand dollars. That is a correct answer, but it is not. Yeah, the there's a scrolling answer. banner, and if you jumped it a bit too much, you got one. But then the actual answer was a bit further along that banner. So, should we do? Let's see. Should we do was it? that one? Yeah, because yeah, we have we, we have, have to explain why. we have a couple correct answers in the chat, but they are previous winners in tonight's live giveaways. So I think it's only fair since they're both winners of Gary race entries um, that it, <laughs> that it might be nice to trickle that down. So I think we're yeah. going if that's cool with everybody. If you are against that, it's on me. I'll take the blame. How about your this? Letters to Gary. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what. I, how about everybody just email me the complaints <laughs> about the show. And with the people who technically would have won two options, they can choose. So we'll, we'll oh, trickle down, we'll give it to go. the next person in the row. But if the person who has already won, if they would prefer this as a different option to what they already already won, then just let me know and then we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. So Matt, uh, Matt, you know, you can choose your race basically uh, off of that. There offer you that go. Gary yeah. just said really, really great job. Molly Klinger though. Molly Klinger, congratulations. That is the correct answer. Over $350,000. More than a quarter million dollars has been given back to the community. Congratulations, uh, Molly. Drop us an email, the ginger at gingerrunner.com. I'll put you in touch with Gary and get you that race entry. And uh, all the rules that Gary said earlier applies in this case. Um, you can transfer, you cannot sell. Um, but this and it is can such be claimed a great once by one person. Once it's claimed, it can't be transferred after that point. Wonderful. Uh, we have one last award to give away, and this is for a pair of Nike Zagamas. It is our filmmaker award. We love to recognize members who like work extra hard on putting together a movie over the course of the weekend. It's challenging to put something together very, very quickly. But we also very much enjoy it. Oh, we love it. <laughs> we love it. And now with you know reels and stories, being able to see this stuff happening in real time is just so much fun. Our filmmaker award. Michael Hilliard. Congratulations, Michael. You put together a fantastic movie. You did narration and voiceover, wrote a really great poem, uh, had it rhyming and did some uh, some voiceover over the top of your big adventure. Brought in some other Ginger Miss videos into your own video. It's really, really good. I might That's show really funny. a clip of it. I think I have it here. Let's do a little clip. clip. Of it. I think. Ginger Miss and I had a plan. Run down to the center 5k. Outfits on every woman and man. Plenty of points along the way to behold, but when I got there, no Santas, only elves, young and old. The elves helped me selfie, and I found Santa the man, but no Mrs. Santa Claus. Darn it, that was the plan! Santa was everywhere in weird pairings that just won't do. I wasn't the only one. Indeed, here's the crew. Okay. Michael does include other members of the GR crew and other people who posted videos that weekend. Just great job, Michael. A lot of editing involved, and we appreciate that. You did great. You are a filmmaker. You win a pair of Nike Zagama trail shoes. Super awesome trail shoes. Congratulations. I love them. Gary, where can people yeah. find you on social media? Where can people follow up with you and see what you're getting up to? Because you have so much going on. You have so many races that people can sign up for. We are so thankful to have you on the show. Where can people find you? Best place to find me is on the race uh, site, which we've mentioned multiple times, trailrunning.ca, and then the coaching side of things that I have, ridgelineathletics.com. Um, yeah, uh, always a pleasure to be on the show. Really great to see you guys. And uh, yeah, it's crazy that we're, we're rounding out another year already. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> if you're not doing anything on May 12th or 13th, Gary, we do Gary have a- has a race. If he Don't wants to a, like, doesn't Gary have a race that weekend? So Probably. I do have a race that weekend. Were, weren't you on a different date prior? 
We with, were. And only it, on year yes, one. On year one. But year okay, two so and we three. Had, okay. So, yeah, the, the long story short is, pr- historically, we've done Survival of the Fittest on the May 27th weekend. Right. We did Conquer the Better on May 6th this year because it was the only weekend we could get. But it was too early in the calendar. We had snow on the top of the course. Um, so we needed to push that later in the in the month. And But then when we were moving Survival of the Fittest, there was another race in Squamish called Around the Lake. And they were very generous in basically flipping weekends with us. So we were able to go to the 13th and they ended up taking the 27th so that we don't have back-to-back races in Squamish. Gotcha. Uh, is the long story short as to why we have a race on the 13th for the very first time this year. So unfortunately, that uh, removes it's me okay. from the start We'll see your face in person, I know, sooner than later. We can't wait to to scrub that nice beard, just <laughs> full of gray white powder or spray, uh, and to see your wonderful family. Um, Thank you, Gary Claus, for joining us again on Ginger Miss and giving away huge prizes yes. as well, like Coveted nearly $1,000 worth of prizes Canadian, like insane. Absolutely always insane. for you guys and your crew. It's always a pleasure to be on here and you have such a great loyal following because you work so hard to establish a community around what you do. And it's really, I, I admire how you guys go about things and always, always a treat to be a small part of it at the end of the year. We appreciate you, bro. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for Ginger Miss and our award show. Thank you, everyone, for participating this year. Again, biggest year yet. We are just so thankful to have a community that comes back year after year, is excited to take part in Ginger Miss. We're going to be back next year for our 10th Ginger Miss. We know we're going to have to go big, so get ready. It's going to be fun. Uh, mm-hmm. This is our last live stream of the year, unless you are a GR Crew member. If you are a GR Crew member, we'll see you tomorrow for our daily live stream. And we have some additional prizes to give away. So GR Crew members... Are, uh, came up with some prizes to give away yes. amongst each other for Ginger Miss. We have John Lortz, an, an amazing community member, took some fantastic photographs. He's giving away a limited edition print of one of the most beautiful photos in his collection uh, to GR Crew members. There's tons of uh, Patreon tier levels that we're giving away. We're going to be doing that tomorrow during Daily Brew. So uh, if you are a GR Crew member, we'll see you then. Um, otherwise, thank you so much, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Go register for one of Gary's races if it has an opening. Stand by for Tiger Claw stuff. That's going to happen here soon. Have a great holiday. By the time you open Tiger Claw, we're going to be sold out on the 13th anyway, so there won't be any conflict for racer registrations. No worries there. Perfect. Anyone who's not running <laughs> Gary's races, come on down to Seattle. Boom. We have Tiger Claw. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your holiday. Merry Gingermas. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.